Assalamu alaikum peeps, shalom hotel. Power to my people that is scattered all over the four corners of this planet we call Earth. This is your host, Musa Azakar, bringing you that heat straight out the furnace to your device. Do me a favor, you already know, smash that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button with that bell. You'll be notified every time I drop any type of content that you may like. So let's talk about it. Everybody talking. Yo, man. That's just like, you know, we got this thing up here called the Tennessee Lottery, right? We buy these $5, these $2, these $1 tickets. And, and, and they say the proceeds, they say the proceeds go to the children in the school. I don't see no modifications in the schools whatsoever. They getting false information in school, wrong history, no computers, no nothing. But we still got that Tennessee lottery. And what I'm getting to is what I'm getting to right here. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Harvard students have filed a lawsuit demanding school pool investments from prisons. Mmm. While this is the first time students who have favored divestment, excuse me, divestment, have sued Harvard supporters, now using different track, different tack to propel their case. Oh, boy. They are taking their fight from the campus to the courtroom. A group of Harvard University students plan to file a lawsuit Wednesday to force the Ivy League school to withdraw its investment funds from companies that profit from the prison industry. Wow, man, money, dirty money, just dirty money, man. Ain't, ain't nothing to be done about a clean, but people always want to use it for a dirty, dirty evil, manipulative, manipulative ways, you feel me? Oh, man. Ratcheting up past efforts that included a petition drive and protest. The Harvard Prison Divestment uh, Campaign wants a judge to require the university to divest its $40 billion endowment, the largest in academia, from prisons to related companies and produce a report of outlining its direct and indirect investments in the industry. My God. Where is his bread? Where is the bread going? In addition, the group is accusing the school of violating its uh, fiduciary duty and uh, breaching its charter and falsely advertising itself as an institution that warns to re redress and harms of slavery while still benefiting from the prison system which incarcerates more than 2 million people in the United States, about a third of them black. Wow, I'm going to leave a link in the description box, man, on this, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit. This shit is serious. It's real out here, man. It it's, not, uh, it's not pretty. It's ludicrous, ludicrous had a song a long time ago that says, cold outside, God damn it. You better get your coat. Better have an African plan or better have a Mexico plan or something. The United States is not it. It's not it. Well, that's all I got uh, right for right now, man. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about the video. Peace and a bottle of high breeze.